if I'm a Democrat voter, why don't you just honestly show them that enough is enough? Show them that your vote actually matters. Vote for Trump. Oh, you are hilarious. If you're, you know, run of the bill, you know, American Democrat voter, you should revolt against your party. Vote for Trump. Keeping homes after dark, looting them for jewelry, purses. you are taking the women's purses right out of their bedrooms. She refuses to go to Bibi Netanyahu. Lion Kamala is also a total radical on a word called Imbo Do you know this, right? The downfall started that night with the debate. The debate. She goes, ah, oh, ah. Oh. <laughs> Olympic tryouts. Mom and dad are in the front. It up and they can't quite do it. Oh. <laughs> mom, I'm sorry, mom. If you shoot a bald eagle or an eagle of any kind, they put you in jail for two years. Go under a windmill, see how many eagles are under there. Nobody goes to jail. I played volleyball for a long time since I'm a little girl. I've never seen a ball, Richard. Richard, as she said, I've never seen a ball come. How, what about race car drivers? The late, great Hannibal Lecter. Okay, they say, why would he mention Hannibal Lecter? He must be cognitively in trouble. <laughs> Wow. What's up, guys? I'm Boston Brian from the Midas Touch Network and host of Blunt Politics. And as Republicans all over the country continue their meltdown, and as Donald Trump at every opportunity continues to show the American public why he deserves to be absolutely nowhere near the White House and absolutely nowhere near the hands of power in any aspect ever again, Kamala Harris continues to gain support. Kamala Harris continues to gain enthusiasm. And Kamala Harris continues to gain momentum all throughout the Democratic Party, raising a record amount of money, getting funds from millions millions and millions of first time donators this the, the place is absolutely jumping right now there hasn't been a feeling like this in the democratic party since barack obama and it feels really good and as kamala harris and democrats ride this incredible wave of momentum we have going here like i said donald trump just continues to prove that he's one of those guys that could get a free car wash and then immediately drive through a mud puddle as he's leaving that would be of course if he knew how to drive a vehicle but anyways you get what i'm saying remember how the media was treating him after he not got shot after he didn't get shot in Butler, Pennsylvania. Remember that whole unity thing? Well, that didn't last very long. I mean, check this out. So hear me when I say, I know Donald Trump's type. And in this campaign, I promise you, I will proudly put my record against his any day of the week. There's the attack. What's the retort? Well, I think it's disgusting. And I get a kick out of one thing. They say, sir, be nice. You just got hit with a bullet. Maybe he's changed. Be nice. And I'd love to be nice, but I'm dealing against real garbage. You know, for a guy that's never in his whole life been able to see his own toes, it's amazing how easily Donald Trump can get his own foot in his mouth. But when a guy picks a VP named Shady Vance, no, J.P. Mandel, or J.D., whatever the hell his name is, the same guy that called you America's Hitler, I guess you can't really expect much. But don't worry, folks. Shady, JD, JP, whatever the hell his name is, the guy that didn't screw the couch, yeah, that guy, he's really been killing it on the campaign trail. I mean, he really knocked it out of the park with this one. It is the weirdest thing to me. Democrats say that it is racist to believe, well, they say it's racist to do anything. I had a Diet Mountain Dew yesterday, and one today, I'm sure they're going to call that racist too, but it's good. I love you guys. <laughs> Yikes. I mean, that is almost as painful to listen to as hearing Donald Trump describe what he thinks is an actual giant iron dome that he's going to have to build instead of actually knowing that the iron dome is just a missile defense system set up of separate batteries that can, you know, cover a whole area. But Jesus Christ, is this the most painful thing that you've ever heard of? The guy literally thinks that we're going to build a giant fucking dome over the United States. Check this out. In my next term, we will build a great iron dome missile defense shield over our country, a dome the likes of which nobody has ever seen before. And it will be entirely made in the USA. I mean, honestly, without even getting into the convicted felon pot, without even getting into the adjudicated rapist pot, or defaming the woman that he sexually assaulted per a court of his own peers, without even getting into the best friends with Jeffrey Epstein for over 20 years, the world's most well-known pedophile, without even getting into the fact that he was on the flight log seven times, without even getting into any of that, 
Is that the guy that you want leading this country? Is that the guy you want with the nuclear codes? I mean, but it is the guy that picked J.D. Vance as his VP. And listen, I know, I know, you're probably asking yourself, what the hell do the poll numbers look like for somebody that called the guy he's now running with a cynical asshole, an opioid, America's Hitler? Well, you're going to love this. Check it out. It's a negative net territory. Look at that. Negative six points. I will tell you, Aaron, I have gone all the way back since 1980. He is the first guy, after immediately following a convention, a VP pick, who actually had a net negative favorable rating. That is underwater. The average mm -hmm. since 2000 is plus 19 points. J.D. Vance making history in the completely wrong way. The worst vice president pick in history brought to you by the guy that only knows the best people, that only hires the best people and knows the best words, you know, words like these. They want wind. The wind is blowing today. The whole thing, it's the most expensive hoax in the world. The wind, it kills our birds. If you want to see a bird cemetery, go under a windmill sometime. You'll see a bird, that, you know, if you shoot a bald eagle or an eagle of any kind, they put you in jail for two years. Go under a windmill, see how many eagles are under there. Nobody goes to jail. And as Donald Trump continues to kamikaze his own campaign, the right-wing media sphere has continued to ramp up their sexism, bigotry, and racism against Kamala Harris. I mean, when you have people on Fox, Fox Business, no less, not Fox News, not The Morning Show, not The Five, not Jesse Waters, but Fox Business saying shit like this, with total reckless abandon, with no pushback whatsoever, shit has gone wrong. I mean, this is absolutely disgusting. Check this out. The DEI press secretary telling you that the DEI vice president is the future of the party here. And so the future looks kind of dim for the Democrats here. But this is no shocker either. Kamala Harris, she's the original hawk to a girl. That's the way she got where she is. And uh, the party's going downhill if it's in her hands. That was tough. And for those of you new to the Midas Touch Network and new to politics in general, it might be naive enough to believe that this guy, this schmuck, this loser was the only person on Fox News talking like this. You'd be wrong. Because here's Brian Kilmeade using colored to describe a black sorority that Kamala Harris decided to visit. Yes, the word colored. And no, this isn't 1950 anymore. Most recent decision, already you got a question. She will not show up for the Prime Minister's uh, joint session of Congress today. She'd rather address in the summer a sorority, a colored sorority. Like she can't get out of that. Unfortunately, the use of this disgusting racist language on Fox News and all throughout the Republican Party is nothing new. And I'm sure the people watching this right now absolutely know that. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you will remember when Rep. Eli Crane from Arizona Arizona decided to say this on the House floor. Mr. Chairman, though, that was unbelievably inspiring. My amendment has nothing to do with whether or not colored people or black people or anybody can serve, okay? Just despicable, ignorant, and racist behavior. But luckily, the Democrats have strong black women, strong black women leaders that are not going to stand up that bullshit and are absolutely going to fight back and let that man have it, like Joyce Beatty from Ohio. Thank you, ma'am, for doing this. Thank you for pushing back. Here she is. Check this out. For what purposes does General Lady seek recognition? I'd like to be recognized to have the words colored people stricken uh, from the record. I find it offensive and very inappropriate. Lady asking for unanimous consent to take down the words. I am asking for unanimous consent to take down the words of referring to me or any of my colleagues as colored people. I'm telling you guys right now, and I'm talking to you, Snow Nose Don Jr. I'm talking to you, J.P. Mandel. I'm talking to you, not a doctor, Ronnie Johnson. I'm talking to you, you orange crusted piece of shit. Donald Trump. I'm talking to the whole Republican Party right now. You better get used to having strong black women in leadership because you're going to be seeing a whole hell of a lot of them because if anybody had the emotions, had the enthusiasm, had the passion that I did seeing stuff like this, then come November, the Republican Party stands no chance because Kamala Harris is coming for you, Donald. <laughs>
it's scenes like these and moments like this you're about to see are the reason that I got into politics. To be able to say that I was right here with you guys at Midas Touch when we elected the first woman of color president in the history of the United States of America is going to be one of the proudest moments for me. And when things like this, when moments like this, when enthusiasm like this continues to spread within the Democratic Party, we know that if we do our job, if we get to the ballot and we vote blue, there is nobody on earth that can touch us. There is no party on earth that can defeat us. Check out this clip. Tell me this doesn't warm your heart. Please have a seat. If you have a seat, please have a seat. <laughs> it is good to be in the House of Labor. So listen guys, the mission is simple, the orders are clear, we must stay the course, we put all our chips behind Kamala Harris because she deserves it, because like I said, being here to be the first people, to be the first party to elect a woman of color president is going to be a very special moment, and I'd like everybody out there to understand the historical significance of what we're about to witness in November, because right now, like I said, the wave of momentum that we are riding, if we can carry this, Till the election, there is absolutely nobody that is going to stop us. And if you want to continue the policies of the Biden administration, the policies that got us the record highs in the stock market, the record lows in unemployment, 15 million jobs created, insulin down to $35 for people, drilling more oil now than the United States has ever drilled before. If you want to continue to help Ukraine against Russia, against the brutal dictator, with maniacal visions of conquest. If you want to continue to build roads, bridges, and railways in this country, if you want to continue to get high-speed internet to people in rural areas, if you want to continue to help people of color, if you want to continue to help asylum seekers just coming to this country to seek a better life, then... Kamala Harris is your candidate. She's the one for you. Exactly. Again, guys, I'm Boston Brian from the Midas Touch Network and host of Blunt Politics. You can check my show out Sundays, 1 p.m. Eastern, youtube.com slash Boston Brian. Here at Midas Touch, we're trying to get to 3 million subscribers, which is just absolutely incredible. So if you like what you're hearing, if you like what you're seeing, if you agree with the politics, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button. It's free. You can also become a, a channel member. You can also check us out at patreon.com slash Midas Touch. And if you'd like to help independent creators like my Myself, who have absolutely nobody above them telling them what they can and cannot say, you can check me out at patreon.com slash Boston Brian. I very much appreciate your help. We need to keep fighting. We need to keep kicking ass. We need to make sure people are getting involved. We need to make sure that people are, are getting registered to vote and that are going to show up in November because we need to keep backing Kamala Harris to the end. If we keep doing that, there's no chance on earth that we could lose. We can take this all the way. We have the numbers. We have the enthusiasm. We have the support. We have the fundraising. Let's go. You guys have a great night. I'm Boston Brian.